Alright, so what's going on guys? My name's Chopper, and I want to talk about that scene in The Last Jedi. If you haven't seen the movie, I think it's pretty much been long enough where I can talk about spoilers, where everybody who really cares is going to have seen the film by now, so I'm just going to get right into it, but if there are spoilers that you guys haven't seen and you care about it, exit the video now. But moving on, we're going to be talking about that scene in The Last Jedi where Snoke is killed. Now, the first time I saw this scene in the theater, I was really confused, and I was almost kind of angry at the way they killed Snoke, and it just seemed like a really big letdown, and that's what took down the film a few points for me, and I didn't really enjoy the way that they handled that character, but upon thinking about it more, I'm starting to realize what this is actually setting up for. A lot of casual Star Wars fans right now are under the impression that Snoke is gone forever, but I promise you guys, his story is far from done. Now, we're all aware that The Force Awakens hyped up Snoke to be this great, powerful dark side user who is very potent in the dark side of the force. There are a bunch of theories floating around about him that he could have been the prime Jedi. There was a lot of people speculating that he may have been Darth Plagueis or was going to be and also a lot of people were concerned about the ring that was on his finger with the black kyber from Mustafar and there's so much interesting backstory behind this character so why did they kill him off so quickly? I feel like the answer was right in front of us the whole time but you really got to pay attention to the context and the dialogue of that entire scene. Upon second and third viewing I've actually seen the movie four times now and every time I see it I, I notice little things and becomes more clear and I started to get a picture of what this movie was trying to convey and maybe even where it's trying to go. So the reason I think that Kylo was able to take out Snoke so easily is because Snoke wanted it to happen. He intended for that very action to happen in that very moment. Kylo using the Force to uh, manipulate the lightsaber towards Snoke's side while bringing his own up towards Rey was not as sneaky as he thought, and in fact, Snoke let it happen and welcomed it. But that might not make a lot of sense to you. Why would Snoke let his apprentice just kill him like that for no apparent reason? Well, the answer to that kind of lies with Luke and the reason why he died at the end of the movie as well. Let's face it, Snoke physical body is extremely aged and he's weak in that sense very still strong in the force and whatnot but his actual body itself is failing him besides him still trying to look as young as possible with his gold robes almost looking like a hype beast and also combined with the theory that he might have to draw on other people's life force for him to stay alive as well all kind of adds up to him needing to go into some other sort of realm or a different body and since Snoke is a dark side user but not technically a Sith, I would suppose it is possible for him to transcend into the next life and become a force ghost similar to how Luke and Yoda was. And even Yoda in this film was able to manipulate the physical world which we did not know about force ghosts, we didn't know they could actually interact with the world instead of just speaking to people. Snoke wanted Kylo to kill him for two reasons. Number one, to see if he would actually betray him, and if he did, then he also falls right into his plan of him letting uh, transcend into the next life, and only then is he going to be powerful enough to go up against Luke Skywalker, because at the end of the film, when Luke goes peacefully, he also transcends into becoming a Force Ghost, which admittedly, he'll probably have a lot more power in that other dimension. Just thought I'd throw this little fact in there. It's also been confirmed by J.J. Abrams that Snoke's story will be completely explained in episode 9 and this is supposed to be the one that wraps all the films up together which I really hope it does because while this uh, The Last Jedi was a good film I think it has serious flaws but now I'm starting to realize maybe this is actually setting up for something else and maybe we'll appreciate the movie as time goes on I hope so anyway I think that would be absolutely insane to see Snoke go up against uh, Force Ghosts like Anakin, maybe Luke, Yoda, Obi-Wan, whoever we see in there, and Snoke going up against all of them or something like that, an intense battle of Force Ghosts would be epic. But this is also Star Wars, and there's the possibility that I'm actually completely wrong. I have no idea, but that's what I hope to see, and unless I'm proven wrong, I think I'm going to stick with this theory. Um, but if they really did kill off Snoke, and for no good reason just to waste him in this film, then I'm severely disappointed, but I have confidence that they're not going to let it go in vain. Now there's also one more possibility that could have happened, and this is what people have been talking about, is that Snoke or Kylo himself created a force projection of Snoke for him to kill, maybe just to show Rey that Kylo is all she really has and how powerful he really is. Now, the reason why I disagree with this is because he doesn't really act like the projection that Luke did to where you couldn't really touch him, he didn't affect physical matter, like, in that they made a point of that by showing that he couldn't move the salt and reveal the underlying red when he was standing uh, on the ground, so the fact that he was able to be cut in half, like, physically, Physically doesn't make a lot of sense if he was just a projection, but I don't know. That could be a theory. I'm not really sure. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comment section down below. I'm going to stick with this theory for now until, like I said, I'm proven wrong by a credible source, but this is what I think is going on. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you leave a like. That would be awesome. Subscribe to the channel if you are brand new. I think I'm going to do more videos like this every once in a while when i got something to talk about, so if you'd like to hear these, make sure you stick around. I'd appreciate it very much. But thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all on the next one. Peace.